YouTube Nation, it's me, uh, John Laval. Listen, uh, sorry about that. Now what I do with it? Okay, yeah, I'm back. Mm. Listen, uh, crutches. Uh, sometimes, uh, maybe in your life, you're gonna need a set of crutches. I mean, maybe you broke your leg. Maybe you just need crutches because you have serious walking problems. Uh, in my case, I'm a bit of an expert because I'm crippled. So I depend on crutches all the time, and uh, so I know the difference between uh, crutches. I'm not necessarily talking about quality. Uh, uh, they'll all stand up to uh, whatever the demands are. I'm more or less talking about uh, uh, easing your burden is really what I'm talking about, because some crutches are very hard to use, and you can get uh, sore and you can get very tired quickly. And other crutches are, um, are better and uh, as I say I'm a bit of an expert on it so I'll tell you a few things about crutches uh, uh, the first thing you should uh, realize uh, with the crutch crutches first of all have a rubber uh, what would you call it a rubber uh, sleeve at the bottom uh, a stopper and uh, uh, they can be dangerous if you say go in a bank and the floor is wet you be very very careful because they have a tendency of just going west and you go kerplunk so that, that's the thing you want to look out for first uh, now that's a that's basically the gold standard of all crutches they all have the same uh, thing on the bottom that was just a warning that has nothing to do with purchasing crutches they're all the same as far as that uh, that point goes uh, now you can get a um, uh, winter and ice you can get a in a drugstore, Walmart will sell you, um, I think, to about five bucks. Uh, you want two of them. Uh, they're a metal uh, cleat that swings out, and it swings down underneath the plug, and it's got a it's got a set of teeth on it, and this is designed to walk on ice, and uh, it really grips the ice or snow doesn't matter. You don't have any trouble. Uh, you don't have to worry about slipping. Very important. That, uh, you consider uh, throwing the money into that if you happen to be going outside and there's ice. The only thing is, is if you're going to hit a hard floor like a bank again or whatever a shopping mall, you want to flip it up because if you hit a hard floor with these steel cleats, uh, again the, the, <laughs> the crutches are going to go west and you're going to go kerplunk. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now the next thing is uh, the purchasing of a crutch. Uh, You've probably heard of underarm crutches. That's uh, where the uh, crutch comes right into your armpit, and then you have a, you have your handle down below uh, as a controller. But the weight is uh, applied to your armpit, uh, especially if you're overweight or happen to have a weight issue. Uh, it can be really, really hard on you uh, to use this. Uh, very hard on the shoulders. Uh, you won't get very far, like you're not going to go to you know, Disney World and start walking around all day. Uh, you'll be dead in about, a, <laughs> about an hour doing that. Uh, the reason why is because the entire body weight is sitting in your armpits, which is basically unnatural, especially if you're an adult. And as I say, the, you know, if you're a really light person, I've seen people use them. I know a fellow that has one leg and... Uh, I mean, this guy's like weightless. Uh, he's really good with these crutches, and uh, myself, I can't use them. Uh, there's no way. I'd be too sore. I couldn't walk from here to the kitchen without. Uh, and I find them very, very hard to control. Even though you have that controlling handle, it's just uh, very hard to throw your weight into this thing. I think I probably eventually will learn how to use them, but uh, there was no success. I have a dozen pairs of them, and. Uh, they're in, uh, in the garage or in the closet, and uh, I'll never be using them. And uh, not because I have a weight issue, I just, uh, it's too hard on the arms. You, you'll get bruised, you'll actually get bruised and red down the side because there's actually uh, friction because they're not really like glued to your armpit. And uh, as I say, you're putting a lot of weight into them. Huh? The ones I use is called a forearm crutch. And uh, I'll tell you, there's two different types. There's an open collar and a closed collar. Uh, I always recommend that you buy an open collar. I'll just show you one here. Okay, this is uh, 
I don't know how to do this. Okay, you grab it here, and you'll notice that uh, it's supported in the arm, uh, the forearm. That's it. Now this is, uh, if you'll notice, is an open, uh, open uh, collar. Now you're saying, well, you get better control with a closed collar. Yeah, you would. If you can afford to buy both, buy both. But if you can only afford to buy one set, buy the open. I'll tell you why. Because you cannot wear a coat with a closed uh, uh, closed collar. Because you're basically sliding your hand in through a collar that's closed. And what it does is it gets caught up in your coat. And I don't know if you know anything about coats, but a lot of them just don't want to go up your arm. So now you can't reach the handle because it's way below because it's the uh, crutch has already come to a stop and uh, if you can get it up it's very very uncomfortable because your coat is just absolutely stressed at the uh, at the opening like the wrist part because it's all pushed up very very uncomfortable so if you're gonna wear a coat or a sweater or anything on your arm in the summertime it doesn't matter you can use a um, a closed collar it's fine but if you have anything on your arm as far as uh, a sweater, a jacket, or a coat goes, uh, you'll find it's a real pain in the neck. It's not worth it. And uh, so I always recommend, because you can use this in the summer too. And uh, uh, so it's all season basically. Open collar is all season. A closed collar is uh, if you're not wearing any uh, extra clothing. And, uh, and uh, so that's what I wanted to tell you about that. And uh, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, if you have. Uh, what I do to make them more comfortable, you'll know it right here, right? Okay, this is hard plastic. Forget this thing. I don't, I don't even know what it's on there for. But anyways, uh, if you have uh, an open collar, what I do is I take like a, you know the industrial boot socks? I'll actually slide it over this thing. And it will actually bridge across here so that when I put my arm into it, my arm isn't against hard plastic. It's actually uh, got a nice uh, canopy uh, to rest my arm. It's quite comfortable. It's, it's just a little tip there if you wanted to, uh, because you will find after a while you're, you you do feel it. But and the other factor about that is it's it's the it's load bearing. It's really really nice because your arms take the load as opposed to what I was telling you before where your armpit takes a load no more it's just the arm takes a load and it keeps your arms straight so you end up actually developing pretty good size arms and you don't get tired I mean I can walk forever with those things but I cannot walk forever with the uh, armpit crutches uh, <laughs> no way maybe I could if I worked on it for a long long time I could walk further but uh, if I want to walk right now I don't bother just buy those they're cheap you can get I've seen that that set and that's aluminum these things are damn near weightless I've seen uh, that set on the uh, internet for like 17 bucks you can buy and order them at a uh, drugstore or Walmart will order them for you or they won't be $17 obviously but uh, you don't have to replace them except for that rubber thing at the end Oh, and another thing with the rubber thing at the end, when you purchase one, you want to make sure that you look down inside the socket of the rubber uh, end. It should have a metal washer in there. If it doesn't have a metal washer, don't buy it. Because uh, that metal washer stops the pipe from cutting its way through the rubber. It's uh, what called uh, a damper. And uh, it will, uh, the, me the metal tube of the uh, crutch comes against a washer which is not nicely displaced over the rubber so it can't push the it can't push the washer through the rubber it's too blunt but the pipe it could because the pipe has an edge so it'll just basically uh, cut its way through so you always want to make sure that uh, like I know they sell cheap ones and they don't have the washer uh, they always get a washer because the thing you'll be buying another set in about a day See ya.